In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do a line study of an image for your design theme. As you can see, I've chosen to do this B and I'm going to be creating a lot of pattern and texture in my drawing just by using line. For whatever image you've chosen, start by breaking it down into the basic shapes. So I'm starting with a kind of oval shape for the head of my bee and then I have this rounded off triangular shape for the thorax and then kind of like a large egg shape here for the abdomen of the bee. As you sketch out each shape, consider proportions. That is the size of one shape compared to another. So here I'm looking at how large the shape for the wings should be compared to the body, and then how large the arms and legs and the antennae of the bee should also be. Now I'm gonna start filling in the smaller shapes within each of my larger shapes. So I'm putting in the eyes. Now I'm gonna divide up the abdomen into those striped sections. I'm putting in a more definite outline for the wings and then I'm going to fill in all of the smaller shapes within the wings. So whatever image you are looking at, this is a good way to break it down. Take it one shape at a time and fill in any smaller shapes or detail that you can see within that shape. Now I'm going to start building up some texture in my drawing with my pencil. So I'm doing lots of little curved lines on the head of the bee. And then as I work on the next section, I'm really carefully observing the direction that the lines are going in because the direction of line changes depending on what part of the bee I am working on. I'm also carefully observing the length of the line because the lines are a lot shorter on the arms and legs of the bee compared to what they are on the body. Now as I start to work on the abdomen, you can see I'm placing the lines very close together, which is creating the look of a darker tone. So that is something you could look at on your image. Are the lines quite spaced out or are they very close together? So I'm just continuing adding more detail to my drawing, working on that little basic sketch that I did at the beginning, filling out each shape. For the legs, you can see a little bit more structure to them. And then it's also got the little hairs on them. And then lastly, I'm putting the antenna on the bee and it's got a really tiny little pattern of circles within the antenna. So look out for any pattern you observe in your drawing. And there is my finished line study.